I need a new hobby, and I've been looking for one for a long time. I wanted to get into golf, and I even thought about starting music again, but I want to do something that I really love and I really enjoy. And if you know me, you know it's cars. I don't get to take my cars to the track as much as I'd like, and winter is just around the corner, so I'm bringing the track directly to my house. That's right, today I'm building a racing simulator, so I can practice and drive as much as I want. Let's get right into it. After a ton of research, here's what I got. For the simulator frame itself, I went with the Track Racer RS6. I chose the Track Racer brand because of its reputable name and experience making high quality rigs since 2008. I chose their RS6 model mainly because of its compact tubular design, adjustability, and simplicity of the installation. It's good looking, solid, and it also comes with a five year warranty. For the seat, I went with the GT Fix fiberglass model for a more realistic race car feel, keeping me locked into the race. It's lightweight, comfortable, and durable. Plus, the outer fabric can be removed and washed when needed. I'm going to be doing console gaming on my PS5 and mainly playing Gran Turismo. So I wanted a wheel fully compatible with the game and the system. After a ton of research, the right choice for me was the Logitech Pro racing wheel and pedals. I used to have a G920, but this wheel makes that one look like a toy. This wheel is no joke. It's a direct drive system with 11 Nm of torque for immediate connection to the car. It has magnetic gear shifters, LED RPM lights with shift indicators, an onboard screen to tweak settings on the fly, and unlike any other wheel in the market, it has True Force, which lets you feel the car's engine, road conditions, traction, and much more. As for the pedals, they're professional grade and have a load cell brake, swappable springs, contactless hall effect sensors, and removable pedal modules. It can also be used with a PC if I decide to play more games in the future. Just a heads up, if you guys are interested in doing the same thing and want to get the same setup, I have links for everything down in the description. Okay, so for the monitor, I went with a TCL 55 inch 4K QLED TV with Game Accelerated. It's 60 hertz, but it should be just fine for me. If I stick to the hobby, then maybe I'll upgrade. For the monitor stand, I chose to go with one by Next Level Racing because of the mobility and size. Track Racer also has a great stand, but I have a clever space where I'm going to be setting up the simulator, and it takes up too much room for that space, so stay tuned to see exactly where I hide it. Lastly, for audio, I picked up a 5.1 surround bar to enhance the experience. I want to be able to hear everything around me, just if I was in an actual car. But since the system is pretty loud, I also picked up Sony's 3D Pulse headphones, made for the PS5. I figured it'd be a good idea so I can race whenever I want without waking up the lady. They're cool because it lets you hear in surround sound and also sound from above and below you. I already tested them out and they work like a dream. Okay, so let's get everything set up so I can show you how it looks completed and give you my first impressions. I didn't want to keep the simulator out in the open, so after the setup, I decided to put the entire simulator in a vacant closet in my office. Here's the result. So it's been a few days since I completed the setup and I've been enjoying the experience almost every day. I don't think I could have done a better job. It came out perfect. And with it being placed in a smaller space, it makes it feel like I'm actually inside of a car with nothing to be distracted by while on the track. I added a shelf to put my remotes and other things as well as added some decorations by adding pictures of all my cars and my helmet for an accent. When it comes to the hardware, the RS6 has been adjusted to my liking. The frame is sturdy and it has no flex. The GT Fix seat is very comfortable and can be adjusted for different size drivers. And when it comes to the Logitech Pro Wheel, the direct drive and true force from the steering wheel are insane, and the pedals feel no different than in a real car. The 55 inch screen is the perfect size and I couldn't be happier. Gran Turismo 7 is amazing so far, I'm still working on getting all my licenses and collecting cars, but I'll definitely be playing some multiplayer soon, so I'll leave my PSN down below. 
as well as all the links to all these products in case you want to build something similar. I had a blast building my first racing simulator and I will be using it a lot. If you guys want to see more content of my progress with racing in GT7, just let me know in the comments and I'll make some more content. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more car content, vlogs, vacations, and more like these two videos. Until next time, peace.